Welcome back to Team Tabletop. Today, we're going to be opening up the brand new Fusion Strike, which has been widely available in the last week or so, but we're only getting our shipment now due to the numerous complications that is uh, celebrations and just November, December month in general with the 25th anniversary has made it extremely difficult to find any time to actually do some openings and we're finally getting back to roots. I'll be doing a news update tomorrow on the celebration lines as well as what has been transpiring and what has been happening. That's taken up all of my time in the last couple of weeks. But for now, I want to thank everyone who has been with us throughout this journey. We have finally reached 3,000 subscribers and I don't know how to say this but it means an awful lot that everyone around the world can just relate to what we're doing and enjoy the process while we're doing it and I have a few things I want to say throughout the video so every time we get a nice hit I want to show you guys some cool things that I've taken out of the uh, vault I like to say it of all the stuff that I've been holding to myself dear that people have been giving me or we've been getting throughout this entire process of the video because in a blink of an eye, we went from 2,800 to 3,160. Knock on wood that it stays that high and we can get ourselves even higher in the next year. But i just like to thank you guys, one and all, for being with us from the start. Or if you're recently just coming in for joining the episode that is uh, Trent opening up cardboard. I mean, when I first started this, we weren't expecting anything much. I just wanted to share my love of cardboard. Then I thought, you know what? Maybe I can try my hand in like... Maybe trying some selling, uh, grabbing all the distributions, uh, making sure everything's streamlined, make sure things can get the people at a good price, as well as get all the items into Ireland that I know a lot of places don't really care about. I in particular love TCGs, you guys know me uh, for it, but there has been a lot of mishaps and a lot of stuff that has been happening along the way that I don't think other companies will really care about because they make enough as it is, but I specialize in this and I really, really want to get it as best as possible to everyone available. And thank you everyone who's been supporting us throughout and Tuna, I swear to God. Okay. <laughs> okay. But any further ado, let's open up some uh, Fusion Strike, everybody. And once we do... Every time we get a nice hit, I'm going to tell you guys one really good thing that's happened to me when I started this business or when we started doing all this because I met so many nice people throughout it. It wasn't just finding customers or finding people to support the business. People have been doing that a lot and at the very start, no one really knew who we were. So it was very, very nice of them to actually put their faith into someone who's just relatively new into the entire process. And we've grown to the extent where people are just buying things through word of mouth and used to just be people who uh, bought it because they knew me from YouTube, but we're getting like cold sales and things like that. And I think it's really cool. We've recently increased the number of uh, limitations we can have in regards to our distributions and whatnot. So we might actually get more product and a lot more of it throughout the years coming. And hopefully that will only increase as time goes on. But I will digress and say that it's all in the future. It's all in the future and it's looking pretty darn good. Is it going slow? Maybe, but for me, I don't really care. It's all about the process, right? I love the fact that we can do all this and be able to share with each other all the cool pools and whatnot. So thank you everyone for Tree Housing. But I'm gonna give special thanks as we go out. I'm just gonna move these out here because you know, Moses. Tuna, you can go over yonder because you my bae. You're, you're the reason why everyone's here. <laughs> oh, she knows. She knows. It. Okay, you think there's something in there, Tuna? There we are. Mew. Now, I'm not gonna lie, Mew is one of my favorite Pokemon. He is by far one of the uh, trolliest things ever. And would you look at that? Brand new back. Holy Jesus, that looks weird. Okay, sure, redeem your rewards online. We're going to redeem those later on. Hopefully we can do another episode where we're playing the TCG game as well. But let's have a nice look. we got a nice leaf energy, a sligu. Shauna, what are you doing here? A Victini is an uncommon. That is just heresy right there. Shnom, OG, Snorlax, a Jigglypoof. A nice little Durant. Pansier. Toxicrox. And we have a Galarian Corsola. Okay, so that's a bit weird, right guys? So this is a white code, but we got like a non holo card. I swear to God, this is another one of those error box openings. I'm going to be very sad. Ah, uh, sure, it is what it is. It's not Pokemon. If you don't have a 
couple of factory errors, right? Is there a green variation to this? No? Another white code, is it? Four, okay. So we got a water energy. Nice chili, cilian, and cress. There we go. Copper jab, a Zoroark. We got the phalanx over here, more peko. A nice little shmurgo. Oh, wow, ain't that beautiful? Quill fish, Tynamo, Onyx, and dun 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 dun! It is an Azumarill! Boston, come on, I want to say something nice about the community. Would you give me something nice, you stupid fusion strike box? Sure. Look, every V, I'll tell you guys something cool. Is this a green coat? This is green, right? Is that good? Because it's black border? Is that how that works? Okay. Weird. Oh, it might actually be that black border is the good one. Okay, a schwa de lune. Oh, wow, he's just scaring at substitute. A schnome, an onyx. Okay, a jigglypoof, a durant, more grim, and... We got a fat boy right here, Greedont. A nice little Greedont right there. Oh man, stealing all the acorns. Oh, that's the uh, that's a pinup berry from Pokemon Go, isn't it? And that's an orange berry there. I can identify stuff. I'm a berry expert. So we got a cool thing, right? So I'll show you one of the nice stuff here. And this is one of the things that we did before, right? This is the Umbreon that we got from our very first Japanese opening that I shared with everyone online. Everyone loved it, actually. I personally enjoyed it. I fucking... <laughs> I was ecstatic when we got this one in particular. And it's been inside my trophy box ever since. First little full art Umbreon, and I'm never going to trade it for the world. Same goes for everything else in the stack, but let's see what the next one is going... Oh, the next one's going to be pretty cool. I'll tell you guys about it after our next hit, right? After the next hit. It's how we do, yo. And I know all of you guys here aren't just into Pokemon. A lot of y'all are into other things too, like Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh. I know everyone has their own little, you know, spice. And it's very nice if we can all get together and enjoy this. The reason why this is a Pokemon video is because lately, the people who've been getting us the numbers is just the Pokemon people. And Eevee, my god, you beautiful. Mmm, très bien. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice little Shinx, Shelmet, Drillbird. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, a Totem Dial, Johto. It's a whole new world we live in. Pokemon Johto. One of the best team songs ever, guys. Come on. Oh, Black Code. All right, all right. It's gonna be a Hollow Rare. Come on, people. Got a nice Elza Sparkle, got a nice Dredna, a Gossifleur, a Mudkip, got a nice little Shanshrew over here, Kufant, Impidimp, I'm also a little bit Impidimp, a Cross Seaver, and Blanderous, oh, full, hollow, oh my goodness, okay. Let's bring it back, everyone. Let's bring it back to the pile. What's the next card after the Umbreon? It's a Genesect EX. And you guys are all wondering, Trent, isn't this Genesect looking a little bit weird? Yeah, it is actually. This is a card that was given to me by a little kid who watched our show years, a while ago. And I know that it looks fake because it probably is. The quality isn't great, but guys, when he gave me this, it was by far one of the best feelings ever. He's like a five-year-old or something, man. He watches the show, goes up to us and was like, Trent, I, I, I really like your show. Please keep it up. And he gave me one of these. And it's been in my collection ever since. I know it's worth nothing. It probably would never be amount to anything, but the value it gives to me is just innumerable or immeasurable. So, little kid outside. Uh, I don't know if you're a kid anymore, but... Thank you for this very amazing gift. And, oh, there's actually a, a thing in between here. It was stuck. Oh, that comes to later. I'll show you guys that in a second. Okay, another white code, everyone. Not looking fantastic. We got a leaf energy. Turtonator. 
Yukimuku. A schoolgirl? Oh, wow. Wulo Pancham? Staring off in the distance. Loving that. In the D. Oh, my God. Is that bro? I just dropped the books. And cancelled. <laughs> Huntel. And we have a Pauli Sand. Oh, wow. Looks like the rates are not going any better on the uh, Fusion Strike, is it, ladies and gentlemen? Our team tabletop back at home. What we got over here? Another white coat. Oh, it feels so weird saying white coat and we don't actually get anything good. How the tables have changed. Schmurgle. I swear to God, some of these are just beautiful. Honestly, the centering isn't too bad on some of these. So I'm not too sure if it's going to be, you know, a repeat of everything. It's nice that we haven't gotten... I mean, the last couple of booster boxes we opened, you guys all know. In error boxes ever since. Missing code cards, uncut cards, weird ass cards. It's just been very, very distressing. So let's have a look here. Oh, God. I swear to God. Treat House a subscriber special. And what do we get? Jack crap. I will say, though, that I'm very happy with everyone that's on board currently. I know a lot of people have been, like, messaging saying, oh my god, you don't give any of your followers, uh, even though we help you get to where you are, that kind of bull crap. And I'm like, you know what? Is the free content not enough for you? Is the free news, is the free openings and videos and hours I spend on the editing table not good enough for y'all? And honestly, it's the whole reason why I'm getting turned off of like uh, giveaways and whatnot. Everyone that was doing it before, I, I thought it was a good way to making it... Uh, to give it back to the community a little bit, but I realized that very quickly it is the fastest way to get salty people into your channel and they'll stick around for like the longest time. And honestly, guys, I don't think that's a positive space. And I think all of you guys deserve a lot better, myself and yourselves especially. And we got absolutely trash inside that particular opening. Got a sand shrewd down. Come on. One altar. That's all I'm asking for. Tuna's given up on life currently. She's all like, you know what, Trent? You do this every single time. So, how about I just snooze? I'm just gonna snooze. Okay. We got a fighting energy, a synthesis scorch, a bug catcher, a nice little fusion strike energy, a schnubble, a geodude, a slazapad, a klefki, nice little pan sage here, reverse rookity, and a toxicity hollow. Oh, wow. He all like. In my hood. Okay, time for another look into Trent's special pile. So the next card we're going to be looking at is this Glaceon, actually. And the reason why you guys haven't seen me pull it, it was because I did it off screen. Because a friend of mine, Sam, who we've recently met together through all this Pokemon nonsense and COVID nonsense after we got vaccinated and everything, he bought some stuff off me, really sound, and he got utter trash he pulls, you know how it is with Evolving Skies and the quality control. So I went home, opened up some boxes, until I opened up an alt art and I offered it to him, but he would just keep refusing to take the Glaceon. And it just reminds me that, oh my God, I, I actually have met a really nice person or people who just refuse to take my goods off me. Another shout out to Paige and Stewie who refuse to take out stuff that they particularly enjoy because they always want to give it back as well. And this is a reminder of, to me that, you know what guys, Everyone in this community, or the majority of them, will always be for themselves. Uh, but a lot of the people who are here just for the game and for the people, they're the ones you want to keep along with you. There's a lot of scalpers, there's a lot of bad negative energy, and I think we've met some really nice people, and we're very lucky that the uh, the bad eggs stick out very hard, that the good eggs are just easier to identify, and that's a good thing about it. So that's what the Glaceon V is. And the card after this would be, oh my goodness, a Yu-Gi-Oh card! Okay, okay, sure. I think you guys all know what Yu-Gi-Oh card it is, but... Ah, uh, here. Ah, uh, here. I ain't gonna ruin the surprise now. Ooh, a black coat. So we have a nice little metal energy. A phalanx. A stemosaur. A conceiver. Nice little manky hand that can buy a branch. Okay, a moona. Meowth. Oh, wow, this is a me out from uh, Eevee Heroes, wasn't it? Okay, Meryl with the nice little cardboard art or the art there. 
Okay, glass core. Come on, something good. A Grimsnar? Grimsnar Hollow Rare, okay. Uh, not gonna lie, guys, the pulls have been absolutely atrocious, but here, you sure look at it, it is what it is. And the next one I'm gonna show you guys is going to be the Winged Dragon of Raw from our very nice Winged Dragon of Raw search that ended in one episode and then we ended up getting a second one of them. Also a pot of extravagance and whatnot as well. Uh, so many things here that I wanna talk about. But Yu-Gi-Oh people, I wanna tell you guys that I know I don't do too much about it. I love the game and I know you guys know me for Yu-Gi-Oh and you're the ones who propelled me all the way to Pendum or whatever it is, 1,000 subscribers and like, the span of two days was so cool and was so appreciated and it, it, it's just, I don't know. You guys did an awful lot for the channel and growing up for it and I know there's going to be a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff coming. We have the uh, Eldorado boxes, we have the Mega Box tins, everything, just getting ready to be filmed, it's just, Finding the time to do it all has been very hard, but I swear to you all that we will be getting back to it. And I thank every one of you who have stuck by us since the start. Mr. Farrell, Mr. Uh, Spooky YT Gaming, all you guys that I met at the very start because of this. I love all of you guys for being with me the entire journey. And not gonna lie, it's been very, very, a very blessed thing that I'm able to meet the people that I have. And there are other things I can talk about here, but we're gonna wait till we manage to get a, oh, there he is, there he is, and their black coat. So what nice thing am I gonna say next? Oh, the next one's gonna be a big one, actually. So it's in regards to one of the people who have been with the channel for the longest time and has been able to help us through in the background to uh, make sure that the channel got to where it is. And I think you guys all know him. He's been on the show quite a bit of times, and it is a, oh my fucking God. <laughs> Chili, Killian, and Cress. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Centering is atrocious, though, isn't it? Yep. Absolutely horrific. Look at this. That's it, though. I got more of the green guy's leg and the less purple guy knee. So we're winning here. We're winning. So we are. Uh, yeah, the one after this is uh, someone I met through Magic the Gathering, which is our very nice friend, Billy who moved into the neighborhood during COVID and has been such a positive influence on everyone that he's uh, played with, that he's met with. And astoundingly, uh, he asked out his girlfriend uh, to be his fiance uh, during all of this. And we, I was there to witness it all. Well, he told me about it at the birthday party. But one thing that he's given me throughout it was uh, he asked me to... Uh, there you go, to be a best man at his wedding here. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is a horrible card. I, I demand satisfaction in that I get rebalanced as one of the best trading cards ever made. But no, this is it. And of course, it's going to be a beautiful wedding. They're very lucky to have each other. Billy's an amazing man. He did all the work. And well, we did all the work throughout, but really, it was really Billy who did all the work on the studio that made us able to make content to the quality that you guys all want to see to this day. And I want everyone to thank him in the comments below that Billy, without your help, we couldn't do any of our board game nights. We couldn't do any of the magic nights. Our openings wouldn't be as cool and I wouldn't be where I am today without you. He's a very inspiring person and I highly recommend you guys to support him as Shamrock Games because he's making some custom dice pouches and I think it's one of the coolest things ever because they are made of sustainable leather and it is so durable. I got one the other day, and it is amazing. There you go. There's your free shout out, Billy, for helping out the uh, the, the channel. Let's move on to the next one, baby, because there are some other people that I would like to talk about, and I would rather do it if we we're able to get some nice pulls here, because they are some Pokemon people. I think you know who you're gonna be next, Mister. Okay, got a Mankey, a Croganog, a Pansier, a Gumi. Aracuda, Polisand, and a Gudra rare. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Come on, guys. We can do this, right? I'm sure the next person who names begins with J, you're all gonna like. Because I'm pretty sure you all know him as well. To be fair, I actually did make an episode when he was up here with celebrations. 
but a lot of it didn't work because the play button wasn't working. So a Gorbis here. Two. Two. We've gotten two hits, one of which is badly centered, but it is a trainer card, so we'll we'll give that a pass. Come on. If I can get like the Mew card, that'd be a fantastic thing. Although we're getting utter trash here, guys. Come on. Come on, Metal Energy. Sligu, Shauna, Victini. Why is it that the centering is good whenever it's cards we don't really want? Okay, a nice electric and Araquid. Oh, wow. Isn't this the uh, green blue Pokemon that is immune to fire? I do believe he is inside the game because he absorbs it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We can talk about the next few people now that we have a nice hit. Even if it is just a hollow, it is still good. A farewell bell. Try saying that ten times. A Bunnaby, a Basquin, a Grubin, a Toxic Crew, and we get a Pikachu! Holy! Didn't know Pikachu was in this one. Stupid electric mouse, Liam. And uh, Shane. <laughs> oh wow, now he is pretty darn cute here. Oh wow. Tune in what you think. <laughs> she knocked it away with her ear. Alright, the next person we're going to talk about. I don't really have any cards left to speak of, so we're just going to go to the next booster pack while I talk about it. But Joe is by far one of my favorite people I've met throughout this entire experience. You guys know him as the man who was telling you guys about how the Hidden Fates tins could have been resealed, and he showed you how to do it. He is by far one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. He is by far one of the coolest guys you'll ever meet. And the most thoughtful as well. Joe, if you're watching this, uh, thank you so much for coming to, back to Ireland after a brief stint over in the US and then making home here. Because I'm not going to lie, Ireland is a lot better for you. And Isabel as well, if you're listening to this too, the two of ye. Absolutely amazing. Oh, another black coat. I'll tell you, like Isabel is like a... One of the few people who told me about the Digimon TCG, and she has been a big supporter of it, along with Joe as well. And they have been, by far, some of the best, best people I've been uh, uh, meeting here. And along the lines of it, like Liam, Shane, uh, from Discord, Sam, uh, Paige, Stu, everyone has been so nice. It's just been very, very humbling. And we got a Greninja V as well. So I can talk about them all there. I'm not going to lie, guys. We do get some weird comments or people. Maybe some death threats here and there. But nothing too major, to be honest with you. There's not a lot that can really peeve me or unnerve me. And the amount of people who are negative and the amount of people who are positive who come into to me or are inside my life due to this has been a big uh, ratio thing. There, are, there have been a lot more negative. However, the positive people, even though they're in smaller quantities, it just, it evens out quite a bit and I don't really care. It, it makes everything worth it, just having one of them. But I'm blessed enough to see multiple of you guys, which is why I will continue to do this until the day I hopefully don't die. Yes, well, that's a thing. There are a few other things that I will like to discuss However, we're going to have to get another black coat before I can look at the uh, the really cool stuff that I want to show you guys next that I really think that everyone needs to hear. All right, nice little wiggly tough. And then an Asagu as well. It's a very nice uh, letter, actually, that I've received that I keep in the background. You guys can't really see it most of the time, but it's just over there. With all the other Pokemon stuff, so it is. Hopefully, if the luck train gets a bit better, we can actually get some uh, better pools and tell you guys about it, all right? Because it's a 3000 special. And another, went into the next video V when we get like, oh, Growlithe, all right. When we get to how many? Maybe, maybe five, maybe even four before the end of the year, we're lucky. Got an Electroid, okay. Come on here, Pokemon. My face is out of memory. So we gotta wait for it to like come back on here. All right. Two, three, four. And we have a nice little psychic energy here. Corvus Squire, okay. Sun Slash. 
Swadloon. A nice little Vulpix. A Meltang. Toxel. Okay. Star You. Marowl. Oh, Dragon Pokemon back. So we got a Turtonator with the three uh, slashes here because he's a Dragon Pokemon. And we're going to send a Scorch. Getting flashbacks of Champion's Pat here, everyone. I'm just going to check the camera really quickly because it should have been back on by now. Okay, and we are back. Sorry about that. I pressed the wrong button on the recording section because it's been so long since I used the camera setup here. I swear to God. If Celebrations was just half as good and half as organized as it was in the set, we wouldn't have any trouble at all. Okay, we have a nice little white code. Have a leaf energy, exadrill, a double, a spongy gloves, a clobius, tynamo, got a zorua, nice little shoulder, a caterpie, trevenant, and an absolutely amazing pull. Isn't that right, Juna? There you go. Halfway through the box, and we're already just getting crap. Are there any more black codes in here? Because, guys, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Slim Pickens is uh, putting it lightly here. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Okay. We have another Metal Energy. What's wrong? Are you okay, Chuna? Would you like a nice treat? You'll get one after the video. How's that, buddy? Got a nice little sand shrew, and we have a Toxicroak as our rare. Not going great, not going great. Another white coat, oh man. I am going to pass out. Tuna has left the audience. She's all like, nope, can't take any more of this. Snorlax and a Corviknight. Rare. Okay. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, we can do this. We can do this! Another white coat? Holy Jesus Christ, we're not doing very well. <laughs> Maybe we wasted all the luck. Maybe this is a sign that there aren't any more good things I can say about the community. Ah, wouldn't that be cool? Oh, Stuffle, looking pretty sweet. Be a big Kuma Bear. A Plusle, Shelmet, and a Granbull. Granbull is not fantastic here. Come on, Gengar. Give me the money. The thing that I want. Here it is. Black Code. Okay, what we got? What we got? Fighting energy. Sydney, Chris Swatcher, Croconol. Okay, so we're getting closer and closer to that Feradigator. Because now we have Boat Evolution Lines. And there's the Total Dial. Bunnaby, Persian, and Hollow Rare Butterfree. Okay, Hollow Rare Butterfree. That is beautiful. But there is one more thing that we need to do before I show it. So this is something that I've gotten from a very, very important person. Tradla. A very magnificent letter. That I think a lot of us can truly appreciate at these kind of times. That I've gotten. Because of this whole nonsense that I do, the cardboard opening, and it's one of the nicest things ever. So I'll read it all to you guys. So to Trent, I'm after to see how far you've come, and thank you for everything in advance. Your life is just as important as anyone else, and don't let anyone make you believe otherwise. I'm proud of you, and wish you the best of luck in life. I'm not gonna lie, guys. All the things I've received, all the things I've heard, these, this is by far one of the most important ones. And if you are watching this, thank you so much for the words of encouragement and the uh, positivity you bring to our lives. 
It is by far one of the uh, most important things ever. And even though I do feel down a lot, I do remember that there are people outside who do care about me. And I know people around the world who care about you guys back at home as well. So the only difference is I have a letter to prove it. So if you guys need any proof yourselves, just know that I believe in all of you. I believe that your lives also very matter because I know a lot of people have been having some very dark tarts here. I will say that it has been a very well long time but I have been on the brink of you know almost dying twice here and the reason why I'm saying this now is because there's been a lot of negativity well not a lot just negativity inside the whole comment space or whatever and people have been very quick to defend me or things like that and I just want to tell everyone that you don't have to do it but I appreciate it like look it I've been to the brink or have been to like the brink numerous times now and I have to say uh, between all of that a few hateful comments on YouTube just I don't really feel it it's basically ooh, a star me and a lavani I don't actually care too much about it I really appreciate everyone like caring for me or not wanting their friends to be insulted I ins I feel you there and I understand where you're coming from but don't give them the satisfaction. Don't really care about it. Just be all like, you know what? You want to spend your minutes uh, dissing someone online while doing the research, calling them a scalper or an idiot or things like that, then go for it. Do it. Absolutely do for it. It's good for the algorithm. So you're helping me in advance. That's what I'm saying here. But yeah, everyone who is at home going through a rough time, remember that your lives do matter. I care. People around here do care. And I know it's like, <laughs> I feel so stupid weird saying it but you know it, this is the this is one of the few times that i'm allowed to say it right because we are oh 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 and it's a crabominal v oh shit that's horrible look at this it's another terrible censoring but yeah this is one of the few situations where i feel like it's okay to talk about my feelings and things like that don't worry too much about it guys as someone who is your uh, senpai in life just be like, go with the flow. Eventually you'll get to where you want to be. And if you don't, maybe that's not where you're meant to be. That kind of shtick. All right, enough mushy stuff. Let's get back to the cardboard now, everyone. Because I feel something good coming up. So we got another black coat here. We're going through all the white ones here. But yeah, there is one thing I would like to say before this is that the person who wrote me the letter, I know you guys are going through a very difficult time at the moment as well. And I understand that. So we hope that no matter what, that we are going to be there for ye all the time. Yes, Shnom. Oh, this is Apple Tomb V. Oh, wow. Not even a secret rare, guys. Not going very well. Okay. I get very embarrassed whenever I talk about this kind of stuff. So, like, just don't bully me in the comments, please. Good grief. Okay. So, what else should I say about this? If you guys are in any kind of trouble or stuff like that, please be sure to contact your local people or just reach out and we will try to assist any way we can because Tuna cares and I do care as well too. Miss Aqua Moon. Uh huh. Uh huh. There we go. So, a Shinx, Corsa Choir, and a Mel Metal. Hollow Rare. But I'm all out of nice things to say. I think. Is there anyone else I'm missing? I'm not too sure. I took like my tablets a like what, an hour or two ago? So I'm feeling quite drowsy. It's nothing chronically difficult, guys. I just needed to sleep. As well as, you know, several other things too, like my antidepressants because of stuff like that. And I feel like I can tell you guys all about it because I'm not keeping it a secret or anything. It's just something that we do to get by, you know? Holidays are difficult, but sure. We have cardboard to open, we have people around us, and life is going pretty decent. Agoribus, okay. Oh, Jesus, guys. Five more booster packs left, and we're gotten utter, utter horrible luck here. Can we make it back? Can we get one Mew? Because I'm not going to lie. Opening a whole booster box of Fusion Strike without a Mew is by far... The dumbest thing I've ever seen. Come on, guys. Everyone back home, send me your energies, please. 
Okay, in the D. Got one of these. And a nice little golem about to self-destruct himself. Oh my god. Golem, don't do it. We just had a whole speech about, you know, killing yourself. So don't do it. Dark humor, I swear. Will I get cancelled for this? I don't know. Nor do I care too much about it. So let's go with that. Digger spot. I'm not gonna lie though, Chansey looking pretty sweet. A lot of the artwork is kind of hitting strong, even if it's not good rates. Mokohita reverse and an Oricorio. Holy crap, why are we still getting cards of you? It's been years since Alola. The only one he managed to win because every Pokemon trainer in there is an F. Here we go. There we go. Can we do it, ladies and gentlemen? Can we get at least one alternate artwork inside this booster box? Because I'm not gonna lie, that will make it uh, very memorable as a uh, 3000 subscriber special. Two pluses in succession, okay. Good, nice little Vulpix, a Clobius, and Dragapult. Why? Why you do this to me, Dragapult? We only have two more. We can do this. We can do this. Ooh, is that a black code? Come on. Two and one of you, Tink. You don't know? Yeah, you don't know. It's okay, buddy. All right, guys. We can do this. We can do this. A bow toy. Corsola. A quillfish. Got a nice little Vulpix. A Rakuda. And you guys see that sparkling on the top, right? Sparkle, 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 sparkle! Oh, yeah, baby! Okay, it's not an alternate art, but man, is this beautiful. Oh, wow. A Mew V Max. Yep, we've done pretty dang well. And this one's actually in good centering. Another one we're going to put into the pile of uh, nice things that we have here. The last booster back, I'm not holding out very much hope that there's anything good inside it. Ah, uh, sure, you never know. You never know. You know. You know now. You know now! Alright, I think it's best that we just kinda grab the tree here. A couple of here. Reverse and... Huntel. Nope. Not even a little bit. But yeah, that is our video for today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a very long ride at five, 3,000 subscribers. Hopefully we can make it true to see 4,000 and even 5,000 in the next year, but I'm in no rush. Thank you so much for being part of the community. Thank you so much for being a part of the team tabletop. Uh, everyone that I've mentioned in this video or have forgotten or that I have met, you guys have been amazing, astounding, and are one of the reasons why, or, main, or the main reason why we still do what we do. Because as much as it is cool to, uh, open up goods and get in new things and the excitement and the adrenaline and dopamine coming in it is so much nicer that we are able to meet and have some uh make some really cool real connections throughout it and that's what we really do it for but enough of the mushy stuff thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you all next time